The much-anticipated follow-up to the 2014 sci-fi action flick, Edge of Tomorrow, seems like it might actually, truly, finally be on the horizon. Some mysterious sources spilled the beans, revealing that talks are happening. According to the Chit Chat, Warner Brothers is crossing their fingers to rope in Tom Cruise once more to lead the charge in Edge of Tomorrow 2. You know, that movie where he's battling those alien baddies called Mimics? And hold on to your popcorn, because there's a rumor that Cruise might team up with the legendary Quentin Tarantino for this one. Tarantino, the guy getting ready for his grand finale, with a movie called The Movie Critic, which doesn't have a distributor yet. But Warner Brothers and others are vying to be the lucky ones to claim Tarantino's last hurrah. Seems like Cruise is eager to get back into the swing of things with top-notch directors like Paul Thomas Anderson. He's not just sticking to the action hero gigs with Mission Impossible and Top Gun Maverick, he's also eyeing those serious, award-worthy performances that made him a star in the first place. After sealing the deal with Hollywood bigwig Tom Cruise, Warner Brothers Motion Picture Group is crossing its fingers, hoping to finally convince the Top Gun sensation to dive into the much-anticipated sequel to his 2014 sci-fi hit, Edge of Tomorrow. Fans were already buzzing with excitement over the recent deal, and now, the Hollywood Reporter spills the beans that Warner Brothers is all set to green light Edge of Tomorrow 2. DeLuca and Abdi have also hoped to lure Cruise back for a follow-up to the 2014 film Edge of Tomorrow, which the studio already had in development before they took over. But hold your horses, folks. While this news is like a movie dream come true for Edge of Tomorrow enthusiasts, the report does sprinkle a bit of reality. The recent deal won't churn out anything starring Cruise anytime soon, because our favorite star will be busy rocking the latest and possibly last Mission Impossible until May 2025. Blunt recently spilled the beans on the much-anticipated sequel to the 2014 hit Edge of Tomorrow. In a chat with Variety, she revealed that the director Doug Lyman are in constant conversation about the sequel. The exciting part? Tom Cruise is all in for it too. Doug and I talk all the time about it. I know Tom wants to do it, hopefully, at some point. But it's timing. But it's also been 10 years since we made it. There was an amazing script in the works, but I think it would only have worked if we shot it 8 years ago. I'm not saying that we're ancient, but you have to factor in it's been 10 years. Now here's the little hiccup. Time seems to be playing a role in the delay. It's been a decade since the original, and there's this amazing script floating around. But it might have hit its sweet spot eight years ago. But fear not, whether it's a decade, 15 years, or even two decades down the road, the prospect of reuniting with Cruz's William Cage and Blunt's Rita Vratasky is enough to keep our excitement alive. The journey of Edge of Tomorrow from time loops to sequel talks has been a roller coaster ride for fans eagerly awaiting more from this sci-fi gem. Emily Blunt, who has been the voice of hope for those wanting to dive back into the world of exosuits and alien battles, has been keeping us updated on the possibilities of a sequel. Earlier this year, in a chat with Josh Horowitz on his popular podcast, Happy, Sad, Confused, Blunt delved into her experiences during the filming of Edge of Tomorrow. Despite the grueling physical demands of those imposing exosuits and the toll it took on her back, it's clear that the role holds a special place in her heart. When it comes to the buzz about a sequel, Blunt couldn't help but express her enthusiasm. I wish there could be a sequel. There was a script that Doug Lyman kind of slithered over to me. I would love to make it a reality, but I just don't know when or how, or how many Mission Impossibles does Tom Cruise need? Emily Blunt didn't hold back when it came to showering praise on her co-star, especially for his departure from the typical action hero mold in Edge of Tomorrow. Come back to the side where you can be, you know, wasn't he brilliant in Edge of Tomorrow? He was amazing as the cowardly hero. I adored him. He was the best. For those unfamiliar with the original Edge of Tomorrow, a cinematic masterpiece directed by Doug Lyman and scripted by Christopher McQuarrie, Jez Butterworth, and John Henry Butterworth, let me paint the picture. The movie, unleashed on audiences in 2014, thrusts them into a gripping alternate reality marked by an unrelenting alien invasion of Europe. Tom Cruise's character, a PR officer, finds himself stuck in a time loop, gaining insights with each repeated cycle to combat the extraterrestrial threat. 
And in this thrilling journey, Emily Blunt's character, a battle-hardened soldier, plays a crucial role in his evolution into a formidable opponent against the invaders. So, not only is Edge of Tomorrow a sci-fi spectacle, but it also showcases Tom Cruise in a role that stands out from the typical action hero narrative, earning him well-deserved praise from his co-star, Emily Blunt. Which brings me to why I think that the Edge of Tomorrow sequel would work out for sure. Emily Blunt is on board. Emily Blunt, with her stellar career spanning countless blockbusters like Into the Woods and The Devil Wears Prada, has certainly made her mark in Hollywood. Sharing the screen with renowned actors such as Meryl Streep, Chris Pine, Stanley Tucci, and even her husband John Krasinski in the A Quiet Place trilogy, Blunt has proven her versatility and talent. Given her impressive history and successful collaborations, it's no wonder that she's eager to team up with Tom Cruise again for Edge of Tomorrow 2. After all, working with a legend like Streep twice speaks volumes about Blunt's commitment to quality projects and her knack for delivering standout performances. Sci-Fi and Groundhog Day United The marriage of sci-fi and Groundhog Day-esque time loops found a sweet spot in Edge of Tomorrow. In the classic Groundhog Day, Bill Murray's character Phil, the weather forecaster, gets stuck in a time loop, embracing risks with no consequences. Revered for its philosophical undertones and Murray's dry wit, it set a standard. Edge of Tomorrow takes a different path but follows a similar pattern, blending Groundhog Day's playfulness with futuristic elements, aliens, dystopian worlds, and unexpected heroes rising up. Fans and critics alike applaud its ability to weave together time, humor, and science fiction into a compelling cinematic experience. Mindful protagonists make for good cinema. The success of a project often hinges on the journey of its characters. Whether they grow or stay the same, both arcs play a vital role in shaping the narrative. Protagonists typically start strong and often remain that way, but some undergo significant growth, fitting into the underdog trope. In Edge of Tomorrow, Major William Cage defies the typical underdog mold, adding a unique twist to the film's excitement. Emily Blunt's desire for a sequel, as mentioned by Uproxx, stems from the exceptional portrayal of Cage's vulnerability and his journey towards improvement. It's this blend of unexpected character development that sets Edge of Tomorrow apart and leaves audiences eagerly anticipating more. Brad Pitt could be brought in. Hollywood's casting process adds a layer of intrigue to film productions, with actors either offered roles or invited to audition. In the era of franchises, opportunities often arise for actors to join a film in various capacities. In the case of Edge of Tomorrow, the role of Major William Cage, played by Tom Cruise, was initially considered for another action hero, Brad Pitt. As talks of a sequel surface, it sparks curiosity about the potential involvement of actors like Pitt or others who were once in the running for the role. The prospect of different actors joining the franchise adds an exciting element to the mix, creating possibilities for a fresh and dynamic ensemble in the sequel. Using a rejected ending as a starting point The art of crafting a screenplay is indeed a demanding and time-consuming process. Movies often undergo numerous revisions, with scenes and endings evolving even during filming to enhance the overall narrative flow. The intense labor involved in writing sometimes leads to powerful endings being discarded. In the context of a potential Edge of Tomorrow sequel, the discarded or rejected endings from the initial film could serve as a valuable starting point. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. See you at the next one.